Yo, what's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another example dealing with a factored polynomial, we're figuring out its symmetry. So whether it's even, odd, or neither. So we got this polynomial in factor form, negative five x to the three, two x minus one squared, two x plus one squared. So we got f of x here. Next step, like we did in the previous videos, we gotta find an expression for f of negative x, and then after that, negative f of x, and then c, if any of these hold here, and if none of them hold, then it's going to be neither even or odd. And if one of them do hold, well, it's just going to be that respective symmetry. So first step is plug in negative x for all the x values here. So we would plug in negative x here. We're going to plug in negative x here. And then we're going to plug in negative x here. Okay, so just took all the x values, plugging in negative x. Make sure you put brackets there always. And now we got to simplify this. And this one's a little bit unique because we've got these orders here that we haven't dealt with yet. But dealing with them is actually not too bad. So first off, this negative x to the power of 3, what does this end up being? This ends up being negative 1 to the power of 3 and then x to the power of 3. All right, because there's like a negative 1 there. So everything in that bracket goes to that exponent. And then over here, what would happen is we'd end up with negative 2x minus 1 squared, and then we'd have negative 2x plus 1 squared, like that. And what we want to do with these factors is, like the previous examples, we want to, we want to make sure that the factors have positive leading coefficients, so they're in that same format as the original function, so then we can compare them and see if any of those equalities hold. So what I'm going to do is, first off, negative 1 to the power of 3 ends up being negative 1, and then negative 1 times negative 5, that would give us positive 5, and then we got this x cubed here. And then over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a negative 1, but notice that because there's this order here, we can't take out that negative one yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that negative one, but I got to keep it within that bracket. That's what's different about this example compared to the previous ones. So I'm going to factor out the negative one, and then all these signs are going to change. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 that is left, and then all of that still ends up being squared. Okay, so I factored out the negative one within the bracket. Okay, so factor out the negative one and then all the signs change. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to factor out a negative one. And then all of these signs are going to change. And then that's still all going to be squared like that. All right, so now what we can do is we could take these exponents and take each of these two factors to that exponent, because notice that we're multiplying two factors. If you remember, if we're multiplying two things, then each thing in that bracket can go to that exponent. Right, so whether this a and this b is a single number, like the negative one, or it's an expression, like the two x plus one, whatever it is, it goes to that exponent. So, now we can rewrite this as negative one to the power of two, two x plus one, to the power of 2, then we got negative 1 to the power of 2, and then 2x minus 1 to the power of 2. So I kind of distributed that exponent, quote unquote, inside these two brackets. And so now, what happens? Negative 1 squared is just positive 1. Negative 1 squared is just positive 1. So these can actually just go away. And so we end up getting 5x cubed, 2x plus 1, squared 2x minus 1 squared. And so that's the fully simplified form for f of negative x, this right here. Can't really simplify this any further. Right, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to rewrite it up here actually. So from here, does f of negative x equal f of x? Well, no it doesn't. It's close, but what's the difference between the two? The factors are all the same, but this is a negative 5 and that's a positive 5, right? So just that small difference, 
we know that this function is not even because f of negative x does not equal f of x. But let's see if f of negative x equals negative f of x. Well, what's negative f of x going to be? Well, we just put a negative in front of that function that we're given f of x. And so negative times negative is positive. And then everything else stays the same. Right? So negative f of x ends up being this expression here. So you always want to have three expressions. You want to have f of negative x, negative f of x, and then the original function, f of x like that. And then you want to compare them, see if any of these hold. So as we mentioned, f of negative x does not equal f of x, but notice that f of negative x does equal negative f of x, right? This and this are the exact same thing. Got the 5x cubed, got the 2x plus 1 squared, 2x minus 1 squared. And so we know that this function ends up being odd.